All right, this is a little jam in B minor, but we're playing on a B minor seventh. So all you need is just your first finger to make the bar and third finger on the fifth string, ninth fret. Of course, you can play the B minor seventh like this, but I'm playing it this way because I'm giving it a, a down strum just on the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, and then an up string, up, <laughs> up strum, on the first three strings, so down, up. So, yes, you can do things like that. You could. Make one chord sound like two, maybe three different chords. So, by, by just strumming the bottom three strings with a down and then an up uh, strum on the first three strings, you have a different sound. And now we're on the um, ninth fret, third string with a full step bend. And bring it down with your third finger. So you're just not leaving it, but you're bringing it down. Vibrato with your first finger, <coughs> beg your pardon, on the seventh fret, third string. Ninth fret, fifth string, seventh fret, and ninth frets on the fourth string. So, so far we have then we're going to go back to the B minor seventh exact same strum down up in the extension of B minor third string ninth to eleventh fret with the second finger keeping it simple I might have played which is fine but so vibrato on that 10th fret 9 to 11 third string 10th and 12th frets second string vibrato and you notice that I'm not moving I'm not moving my finger I'm moving my wrist it's like a mini bend you know, you're going up maybe a, a 16th instead of like a half step or a full step bend. Now we have this all together. Now we're going to go to F sharp minor 7th. Same shape as on the B minor 7th, which was the 7th fret. Now we're on the 2nd fret. Now a little bit of palm muting. So what I'm doing here, you see the bridge, I got my acoustic. The side of my hand is right here. And right inside that F minor seventh scale, we're gonna play. See what? It's not like that, where my hand is resting on the bridge. Side of my hand is on close to the bridge, but it's the side there, and, and we have, so you have a palm mute. So we keep that, and you're playing right here. Yep. Bottom three strings with a down strum, and then an up strum, and the top three. Six, five, four. One, two, three. Stay on F sharp minor seventh. Now we're going to play on the fourth string. <coughs> I'm sorry. Ninth and eleventh frets. Okay. And hammer on, hammer on pull off. Eight times. Two, four. Here we go. Hammer on to the ninth to eleventh fresh with the first and third finger. So you're just picking it once, and then I'm picking once, three different notes. You can do an up. So you start on the fourth string with a down, up on the third, up and down. Two picks for those four notes. Third string. Hammer on, pull off. Eight 
eight times. Hammer on, pull off. Hammer on, pull off. 11th fret on the fourth string. Though. That hammer on, pull off is on the third string, ninth and 11th frets. So that's going to that's gonna be. Now we're going to play this open E. That's the sixth string to the first and second frets. Go way up to the 14th fret. Okay. On the first string. Then you're going to pull off with your fourth finger and the 17th and 14th frets. Play that eight times. It's a good idea though, when you go up to that 14th fret, <coughs> excuse me, borrow the first two strings in the 14th frets. And all you gotta do is simple movement. And that's an up, pull off, down, up, pull off. That's all the first string. And then a down pick on the 14th fret, second string. Seven, eight, then 14, 17, 14. So let's, let's go over. So the first line, B minor seventh, right? There's the first line, I hope you took a screenshot of that. See, so it's, that's how easy that is. Now the second line, because that second line, we're gonna go actually over the second, third, and fourth line. So, so we're in F sharp minor seventh. Let's go over these two and then I'll go to that bottom line. Just like I explained to the F sharp minor seventh, palm muting. F sharp minor seventh again to the four string ninth eleventh frets, the hammer ons and pull offs, and then the that's on that third line. And we're gonna go up bar the first two strings on the fourteenth fret. Then so that's where we're at. And then after that you're gonna do you're gonna just do hammer ons, hammer on, and then you kinda kinda tap. So you hammer on, lift up, tap on the 14th fret with your first finger of your expression hand. And you get faster, and you go to the 15th fret with this finger. You're always keeping this on the 10th and 12th frets with your first and third fingers, hammer on pull offs. 14th fret, 15th, 16th, 15th, 14th. Wait until you do it on an electric guitar. So. Here it is all together nice and slow. You try that again, here we go. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to improvise in both uh, the pentatonic and B minor and F sharp minor, go right ahead, ahead and have fun. Uh, this is just meant to be a guide like all my, like my lessons. I hope you guys are enjoying this, taking the benefits, if any. I'm thoroughly enjoying teaching you guys, showing you what I've learned over the past 
can't believe the four and a half decades of playing guitar. Um, and primarily, you know, I'm shooting, I'm aiming to uh, target an audience that are between beginner and intermediate stages. So, you know, if you come across my stuff and you're very advanced, well, I hope you're enjoying it. Or if you got any comments or critiques or anything, sure, I'm open for suggestions. And uh, once again, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. And I hope that you like what I uh, presented. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.